Welcome to episode one, where we'll be trading a Mercedes-Benz couch for an actual Mercedes. For real? Oh, 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 oh. Nothing weird about this. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Well, how is this happening right now? Yeah. It suits you. Look at this. I mean, sorry, but... What? 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 I just want to like ask right now, is this a prank or no? Dude, how is that possible? <laughs> What's up, baby? What's up? Y'all are hooligans. <laughs> you just bought a car, bro. Yes! Yes, dude! Hey guys, welcome to what I like to call the couch series. Most of you probably know I recently bought Logan Paul's $90,000 couches. Yeah, let's go talk, bro. Let's go in the studio, let's cut the cameras and just chop it up. And now I have to figure out what to do with them. So here's how the couch series is gonna go. The couches are made up of four separate pieces and our goal is to take these four pieces and collaborate with as many YouTubers as possible and create a culture around the couches. Couch culture, I like to call it. So every week for the next few weeks, I'll be uploading an episode of the couch series where we will be doing increasingly crazy things that you guys have requested in the comments section. Welcome to episode one, where we'll be trading a Mercedes-Benz couch for an actual Mercedes. A lot of people encouraged me to fake this one, but you guys know I'm not gonna do that. So here's the plan. We're gonna take one of the couches that Logan Paul has declared unsellable and either trade in or sell this couch for an actual car. How we do this, I literally have no clue, but we will do it, um, I promise you that. So the plan is to call Mercedes-Benz dealerships, uh, luxury car places, post Craigslist ads, Facebook marketplace ads, whatever we need to do to sell or trade in a couch for a car. So here we go, here's episode number one. I started the week by calling every Mercedes-Benz dealership in California until I got a maybe. Our manager, he said he was interested. He wants to know if you'd be able to send over pictures of them as well. All right, it sounds like we may we maybe have a buyer. So with a minimal commitment from Mercedes-Benz, I went to Los Angeles anyway and met up with YouTuber Eric oh, Tapas. Yeah. Shit, are you Air for yeah. right now? <laughs> I also wanted to run the idea past a few people. I, like I've been talking to a Mercedes-Benz dealership and they're like going to trade it in for an actual car. No shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Today's our first day in Los Angeles. Today, the main goal is to somehow trade a couch for an actual Mercedes Benz. So we've got one on the line. We're gonna go pick up a truck, a trailer, uh, and see if we can't trade these things in <laughs> for an actual car. Another important thing to know about this series is that when I went and got those couches, Logan Paul gave me back $500 in cash uh, because he broke one of my couches. At the end of the series, I'll be giving away the $500 to one of you guys. All you have to do is go follow me on Instagram, at Airac. Also on Instagram, you guys can see the behind the scenes, hints, that kind of thing about how the series is being done, how we're progressing. So it's kind of a no-brainer. Are you, are you following me? No, you're not following me on Instagram. Okay, well, go follow me on Instagram. First, we went to Home Depot to get a trailer and then to Tanner Fox's warehouse where the couches had been sitting for the past week. I haven't seen them in so long. What's it been like um, taking care of these couches for the last week? Uh, it's no problem at all. Just no problem? What, what are you about? talking about? It's just a pile because of Because you're never here. I went to go just admire Tanner's car, uh, but then he said. You take it around the block? No, dude. For I'll go real? with you. I'll go with you. All right, go I'll with film you. if you are. This is maybe one of the worst decisions you've ever made is letting me drive this. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick after that. <laughs> Back to the plan. We loaded up the couches and headed out for Riverside, California. But there was this one problem. Uh, I have not heard back today. So I'm going to call the head of the Mercedes-Benz dealership. We were immediately forwarded to voicemail. If he doesn't hit me back, we literally don't have a plan B. So we tried calling the assistant. I'm here today. Let me go ahead and get you over. Fortunately, Brian is unavailable. Can I connect you to his voicemail? Okay, great. Uh, thank awesome, you. thank you. We don't have return flights home. We literally can't leave LA literally. unless we trade this couch for a car. We have no other option. <laughs> we're just gonna call all the Mercedes-Benz dealerships, try to get it done. And they said, A really, really cool idea about something that's useful for us in our business model at this time. Another no in the books. Let's go, baby. That, this that means this episode is going to come out late, which is a bummer for you guys, for me. And the next few days were brutal. All right, it is uh, 8.30 in the morning the next day. It's day three of trying to sell the couches. Today's day four <laughs> of trying to sell this couch. I'm going to make a bunch of Craigslist posts, Facebook posts, call every single Mercedes-Benz dealership in California to make sure that we get this couch gone. And that's exactly what I did. I posted this couch literally everywhere on the internet. And I have gotten... No leads at all. Nobody's interested. So then we thought, uh, who has to say yes? Do pawn shops? Don't pawn, sh pawn shops have to sell shit. Yeah, unfortunately no, nothing like that. Yeah, unfortunately we don't take stuff like that. So. My willpower was dwindling. Okay, let's do it. No, Taking? probably not. 
Okay. And we reached out to other YouTubers who may be interested. Yes3, for example. It's in their name. They have to say yes. Yo. Yo, they, they don't want the couch. The good news is that they're like, yo, we love that guy's videos and like, we definitely want to collab with them. You know who needs some good ass furniture? Who? GT Dave. Oh. GT fucking Dave, bro. All this stuff is like, like hard. Like yeah. I remember Cody Co did a video about his apartment. He yeah. would so buy this couch. In yeah. that video, Cody Co points out that GT is into stark white uncomfortable furniture, which was perfect. I don't feel like, I don't feel like you'd ever like sit down on that couch. You'd be like, ah, <laughs> this is a beautiful. Oh. So we actually DM'd GT Dave, but he didn't have space. We hit up Bobby Minzner, famous for his Billionaire Sun series. He wasn't interested. I also remember FaZe Rug had a few Mercedes. You have FaZe Rug's number? Yeah. I only had FaZe Rug's number because a secret source had given it to me for a previous video, which meant our text message history was nothing. So I decided to send him this. FaZe Rug, what's up, man? Uh, I recently, you might recognize me from Logan Paul's blog where I recently purchased uh, his $90,000 Mercedes-Benz couches. Uh, I thought that you might be interested. I'm looking for a highest bidder. You can literally bid a hundred dollars and buy these couches off of me. So I sent it, but only a few minutes later. GT Dave just called. Me. Okay. Hey GT, what's up? It's Eric. Hey Eric, how are you? Good, good. Thanks so much for calling, man. So basically, um, and after explaining the story of the couch, so we're trying to actually like find somebody who will keep the couch. So you're looking for me to keep the couch? If you're into it, yeah. I mean, I think I can take it. Um, yeah, I can pay like a thousand dollars for it. Dude, if you have any extra kombucha, I'll definitely, I'll definitely take a couple of kombuchas as well. <laughs> yes, yes, that would be awesome. That yes, that works. Nothing weird about this thing, right? It doesn't have like, have, like money on it. No, 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 no. <laughs> we had done it. <laughs> Dude, we just sell the couch to GT Dave. <laughs> What? He's gonna give me kombucha! <laughs> bro, we just sold the couch to the kombucha king, bro. Oh my gosh! So the next morning we picked up the couches. All right, this is round two. I feel very good that we will sell the couches today. Woo! We're going to GT Dave's house. He's gonna buy them for sure. And headed to GT's. All right, we are one minute away from GT Dave's house. I'm nervous to meet GT Dave, bro. And then... Oh, oh shit. Bro, how is this happening right now? We brought garbage into GT Day's house, literally. So we unloaded the couches for a demo, and then... Oh, he's right here, he's right here. There he is. Yeah. Nice to meet you. This is Eric Hey, brother, I'm Eric as well. Yeah, great to see you. We've been, uh, we've been trying to find someone to sell these couches to for over a week now. Yeah. And uh, it's been crazy, but uh, we're excited. We think this might be a good fit for you. Yeah, I think so. It's a pretty sweet couch. First, he insisted on giving us a tour of the home. We saw it in Cody's video, and like... Like seeing it on camera is nothing like seeing it in person. This is insane. This is beautiful, GT. Thanks. I mean, really, man. If we could put the sofa, I mean, like right here would be sweet. That sounds nice. I think, yeah. it, would be, I think it would look really yeah. good out here. Yeah, just like imagine, just like, yeah. <laughs> just like rain. <laughs> These are pretty comfortable. These are pretty comfortable. Exactly. Have you guys seen this? It's a stainless steel dish, but when you walk up to it. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, that's actually. I don't know when it stops. Whoa, dude, keep going forward. Oh, you can see yourself so clearly. This is crazy. Wow. I'll show you this last piece. Yeah. Name of Louise Bourgeois. Her signature style is that she would paint with menstruation blood. Oh. So this is actually the oh. menstruation blood of another woman because she was clearly barren. But, That's but awesome. is it better? Then Logan Paul's couch is the question. That's, a good that's question. the biggest. No, that's yeah, that's right. No, that's so you're, you're trying to close the deal. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't be laughing for long because then the unexpected happened. So, <laughs> wait, what's going on here? You don't like it? Um, I mean, it's not really a sofa because a sofa, I think, kind of like hugs you back. That's kind of the art, though, right? Maybe that it pushes back yeah, instead yeah, of... Yeah, it's like, you know, kind of rejects you, so you want more. Yeah. It suits you, look at this. Yeah, you look pretty good on that, GT. Um, fucking stiff. I mean, even for me. <laughs> I like a, some tough furniture, but this might be just a tad too much. So you're telling us that the guy with the concrete furniture, this couch is like too tough for you. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I'm into it, guys. I'm sorry, I know you brought it out here. And uh, honestly, even for a thousand bucks, I'd regret it. Oh my god, no! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, but like again, I'd be pissed off if I actually had to sit on this longer than five minutes. <laughs> You're not interested. Um, no, I don't think so. I'm sorry. 
I'm just not vibing it, you know? If we found some period blood. <laughs> And maybe drew little Just baby spiders. <laughs> little baby yeah. spiders. We had lost everything. Could load them back up from here. All right. Just be careful. Don't scratch anything, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was all set up bit. GT was actually the coolest guy on planet Earth. He even gave us some kombucha. But we still didn't have anybody to sell these to. We're going to have to fake this video. I don't want to fake this video, guys. So we headed back to drop off the trailer. But then... I check my phone and I've got a text message from none other than... Faze Rug. I'm hoping it's a yes, bro. Please say yes. I'm down, bro. I've seen some of your videos. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So after a two hour drive and a ticket, we made it to Faze Rug's house. Yo. Yo, yo, how yo, are you, bro? Nice baby. to meet you, nice Good to meet you. you. How are you? And we made our way to the backyard to see where the couches would go. I'm gonna put the couch like in that area. It's pretty big, huh? It's big, dude. Okay. It's big, it's big. So th all this that you're doing is gonna be one video? One video. No way. Yeah. That's a guys, you yeah. better all subscribe. You see the grind he's going through right now? And then it was time to show him the couches. What? Oh my God. Are you sure this is real? Dude, yeah, let's unload them. Let's, let's check them out. I gotta oh, test yeah. it out before I put like a bid in, you know? <laughs> and we unloaded the couches again. Hopefully the last time. Time for your maiden voyage, baby. Phase rug review. The cushion of it definitely isn't the best quality. <laughs> it's like an art piece, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's a, more of an art piece than a couch. Cool yeah. design. So what do you think, dude? Is this something that you'd be interested in? This is definitely something that we could use in our backyard. And then it came time for the bidding war. Would you accept a hundred bucks? How about 150? How about 200? 300. 500. Take it or leave it, bro. I, if you... I'd say maybe just go for like a good 90K. Just get the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, we agreed on a thousand, but tell him 5,000. And if he doesn't, let's just take these and get the out of here. Seven fifty. A thousand dollars. Take it or leave it, and that's it. Sold. What? Sold. What? Wait, are you serious? Sold. But my reputation almost got in the way. I just want to like ask right now: Is this a prank or no? No. Like it's legit. You're is letting it, me keep that. Yeah, one hundred percent. I know Dude. I have a reputation of pranking people. Yeah, this is one hundred percent yours. I'm surprised you didn't sneak into my house or something. <laughs> like, I don't know. So we took the couch to its new home in Rug's backyard. That looks from the future, bro. That this doesn't look bad. real. And of course, we had to get a few reactions. Dude, I was gonna <laughs> this is how it's possible. What's up, baby? <laughs> what the? <laughs> dude, how is that possible? <laughs> bro, they literally brought it down to San Diego. That's easily the most storied couch in all of YouTube history. Bro, it's just so iconic. It's hella iconic. What's up? What's up, baby? What's, what? Yo, y'all are hooligans. <laughs> Yo, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ready? Shut up. Bro. Dude, it's in my backyard. I got your couch. Wait, where's the other one? That's for me to know and you to find out, baby. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yo, can you guess how much I paid? A thousand dollars. Bro, I got a steal. So with our new couch money, we went back to LA and started asking random Mercedes-Benz owners for their cars. Are you trying to sell that? I mean, I will. <laughs> We found a guy who was willing to let me test drive his car and take it on the spot. An extra car they weren't using. They actually run a nonprofit, which is super cool. So the proceeds from this is actually going to go to feeding like three to 500 people. And after counting the cash and signing over the title. We just bought a freaking car. We just bought a car, bro. We own this car. What's the torque on this thing? Whoa! Whoa! Literally, I paid as much for this car as I paid for a boosted board. All right, we're going through our first drive through with our new car. Woo! Appreciate that. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Bro, we freaking did it. Yes! Yes, dude! Oh my gosh, dude. It has been days. Oh. Put a uh, put a name down in the comments. The top comment will be the new name of the Benz. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm leaving.